Um, we're calling this first pass at 2015, but Fred and I were talking before I left today, and I think it's a really strong first pass at uh, the end of 15. So um, you guys should have received in your boxes, I think, Friday, maybe Saturday. I think it was actually Saturday. They all run together at this time of year for me. Um, the monthly monthly slash year-end financial report uh, the, was the 12th month of the year, so it's a target is 100%. The motor vehicle income total for the year came in at $3.2 million, which is 294000 above the budget, 17.2% above the target, and 219000 ahead of 2014. The other major contributors to the year's income total of $8.18 million, so about $8,018,000, 18, 180,000 were payment in lieu of taxes at 244,000, interest on taxes at 354,000, building permit at 320,000, state of New Hampshire at 1,295,000, departmental income at 671,000, rice sewer at 113,000, and parking lots at 508,000. Land rent at 166,000, franchise fees at 246,000, insurance reimbursements at 227,000, and the real estate trust at $503,000. Um, I just did a fun little comparison for fun facts. I have kids, so you know, I gotta have all those fun facts. So the next little paragraph kind of gives you a comparison, comparing 14 to 15, just so people could see where we were revenue-wise and. Uh, uh, take note of the growth in the town and like building permits and fire and all of that. So um, interest on taxes came in at 19000 less than 2014. And I will commend the tax collector because that must mean she's doing a good job of collecting those taxes if there's no interest. Building permits came in at 59000 higher than 2014. State of New Hampshire was 94000 less than 2014. Departmental income was 123, I'm pretty sure that should have a thousand after it, 123,000 higher than 2014. Parking lots were 55,000 higher. Real estate trust was 190,000 less. And um, I would also add that the total revenues were up 590,000 for 2014 and 317,000 over the 2015 estimated revenues. So those are just kind of my fun facts. The um, expense summary shows the year-to-date expenses by department. At the end of December, the operating departments with open purchase orders but without debt service were 98.15% of the budget, which is 1.85% lower than the month's target of 100%. Uh, this puts us under budget by $431,500. And if you compare that to 2014, um, at 2014 at this point, which was the first pass, we were at 98.4% of the budget, or 1.6% below the target. So we were very close um, in 15 and 14. So I didn't uh, provide you guys with a line by line of each department. That doesn't seem to be what we have done in the past at the end of the year. So, but it is all there um, for you to review. We're going to finalize these numbers, but amongst the next couple of weeks, and the auditors are coming in the week of February 15th. So when I was looking back at past January's and February's uh, meetings and different things that were approved and stuff, it looks like you'll probably see me again in about two more weeks, right before the audit, and I should have some firmer uh, end of year. But like I said, Fred and I uh, were talking earlier and we took a good scrub of the purchase order list and all that. So I think uh, we're in fairly good shape at this point. Um, also, in your box, you should have received... Do you want to do questions on that first, or the purchase orders and all that next? Um, what do you prefer? I don't, anyone have any questions? On the financials? What you, what you, yeah, and the yeah. Just, yeah, really good job and stuff. And, and uh, it's really nice to see that the revenues are up. And yes. It's so many departments, the revenues were up really good. So I did and the fun facts. Is that? That's why I did fun facts. Yeah, fun facts. That's <laughs> nice to read. And, you know, I think that we really have to be cognizant of the fact if that's going to continue into next year, 
you know, Hopefully. if our building permits are up there, if we're still going to have that same kind of revenue coming in. So uh, I think that that's an important thing for us as the Board of Selectmen right. to keep in mind and, and to look at um, what's going on. But I, it's really great uh, to see that. I mean, some things were down lower. A lot of things were up higher, though, which was really nice. And it looks like most of the departments came in pretty close to where they should be. Yep. And it was sort of at the end that you kind of put a squash on spending, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, which helped. So, yeah, good job and, and really nice, nicely done. Mr. Bridal. All set. Excellent Mrs. job. Wesley. Yeah, Christy, uh, uh, interesting. The state of New Hampshire, 94,700. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, is it 94,700 less than 2014 or 94? Thousand seven hundred, which are, I'm just less than fourteen. Yes. Okay, so they didn't give us as much money basically yes. in 2015. Yes. Right. Which is not surprising, I guess. I was fair. I did fun facts across the board for all the big money hitters. So. Yeah. Okay, and one other quick question: <clears throat> Do you happen to know, or could you get for us, the amount of money uh, that? that came in on uh, when the tax rate was set. I was going through all my paperwork when the tax rate was set, and I couldn't find it. The amount of um, revenues that were used to set the tax rate. I had that. I looked all through the stuff that I got from Steve Hamilton, and I couldn't. Um, yeah, I can get that for you. I, did, uh, I looked at that this weekend because that's how I came up with the comparison to let you know that it I'd was... I'd like to see how close we were. Well, we were... We were 317000 more than the estimated revenues at the time the tax rate was set. That was that fact down there. Yep. 317 more. Yep. 0.8. Well, whatever. Yep. 317800 Okay. Thank you. Mr. Bean, no questions. Thank you, Dorothy. Thank you very much. Oh, and you're moving on to yep. the. Oh, okay. Yep. I like the fun facts also. <laughs> Don't get rid of her too fast. <laughs> you did a great job. With Something that. different. I had to mix it up a little. Well, I think that makes it interesting. Thank yep. you for everyone. Um, okay, so also in your packets, you should have received a little summary sheet. Um, I did put a new one in there today because I had failed yep. to leave the little note on the bottom there for you what the little asterisks were for um but basically this will show you uh the total open purchase orders that we had on 1231 of 15 um, and it also shows you the warrant articles that are still in progress so therefore they need to be carried forward into uh 15. fred and i have reviewed all of them we uh, went back to the department heads to make sure that these projects are still ongoing projects. Um, we've reviewed the warrant articles to make sure that they didn't lapse at the year end, because uh, then you wouldn't be able to bring them forward into 16. But so that's kind of a breakdown there in regards to that. Uh, at the bottom, I just show you those numbers don't total out to the total purchase orders because those are just highlights of some of the larger ones. I know Mary Louise had asked earlier, and the PD security system is the cameras, and it's right on there at 110,567, and it's to Howard Systems. Ah. I think it's on page two of the list I gave you. Yes, it is. It's on near the bottom of page two. Right. Um, but so that's basically what you're looking at. So it's a total of 1838852 $52.27. That includes the, the Warren articles, as you can see, are the larger, larger number there. They're $1,292,349 is still outstanding in Warren articles. And the purchase orders are at uh, $546,503.27. Questions? Mr. Waddell? Yeah, uh, more for the town manager. I mean, all these sir, open warrant articles are still being worked on. There, nothing is going to be worked on until this board approves the the. the uh, I mean, the, the prior ones. ones. He means the warrant articles. The warrant, articles. the warrant articles. Yes, they're all they're all currently in progress. Progress, and we're yeah. making progress. Well, they on have, um, for instance, wastewater treatment uh, plant facilities studying on lapsing. Yeah. Uh, no work is being done on that because we had to finish up the prior one on wastewater yep. treatment plant so that'll be started this year okay so these are all these all have non-lapsing dates that where they're where they're non-lapse most of those are 2020 okay so we'll be probably starting all of those this year okay 
Mr. Bridal. All set. Thank you. Mrs. Wolseley. Yes. Christy, uh, he says fire engine. I'm assuming that's the pumper that's on order. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is that the balance of the money that we will have to pay when it's completed? What, what is that 21000 That's the money that is left in there. Um, we've already made the large payment on that. That's a right. more of a contingency for so once any build design things off, that come up. Yes. If we owe anything else, or uh, that's fine tuning at the end It'll of it. It'll come out of the 21. Okay. All right. Uh, High Street Lafayette Road drainage. Why have we still got that? They, did, was that not completed? It's completed, but we have to have retention. We have retained until April of next year. Of the, is it this year? Retention for April, April of 2016. 16, yes, because we're required to retain money in case just something in case goes wrong. The new yeah. build to get screwed up. Right. Okay. Yeah. That's and then it will lapse. It will lapse out, and, and and the money will be paid out to the to the vendor, and anything that's left will go either in the general fund of the treasury, or any money to be returned to the federal government will be returned to them. Okay, great. Yeah, because we're still literally holding retainage owed to the vendor. Right. At this point. Correct. And then the uh, part-time special police officers. Now, that's the class, the second <laughs> class that the chief has coming in right. this year yep. saved over from. Right. Okay. And that's the balance of that appropriation. That should be extinguished sometime this year. Yeah. Okay. And one more on the bottom under highlighted items. Uh, the PD security system. I just asked the chief about that, and he said, you're still working on the vendor or whatever? We are. Now, how was that locked in? This is locked we, in. We've we done it on a purchase order. You locked it in on a purchase order? All of these order. have existing purchase orders. I thought the original estimate was 80000 Actually, no, it was more than that. It was? Yes. Because yeah. I had that figure in the back yeah. of my mind. So it's in the neighborhood now. It's 110, 567, 75. Yeah, quotes. The, okay. Yeah. And then you'll. That is a quote. And it'll, do we have an estimate on when it can be installed or are we still. Uh, until this board approves the encumbrances, nothing's going okay. to happen with it. Okay. So I think that's probably think something. All the departments you do have been tonight. on hold, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Christy. Mr. Bean. No questions. Thank you, Director. Thank you very much. You've worked hard on this. Thank you. And we need to, if the board wishes, uh, we need to, make to this motion. we need to make the motion to uh, to uh, authorize the encumbrance of these purchase orders and to proceed with ex with the carrying out the purpose of the order itself. So moved. Whoops, Second. whoops, whoops. I want some figures here. What what specific figure are we talking about? One million eight thirty eight eight fifty two twenty seven. General fund related total in the middle of the page. That right. takes in everything, right? Yes, that takes in everything. I went back and checked it all. So moved. So where, when, okay, are you, you moved. I just want to make sure I understand what I'm doing. So you've got the what's that? The five forty six and, and the, the one point nine two yep. three four nine. Right. Mm -hmm. And the highlighted out items on the bottom are not factored into that. Yes, they are because they're included in the purchase order total. There, I just highlighted some of the okay. Anything that was over ten thousand on the purchase order list, I you put it out. down here so that you guys could. Okay. It would draw your attention to but it. But just help me with the math because I'm not doing yep, that. Yep, it's five hundred and forty six thousand so five hundred and three dollars and twenty seven cents, which gotcha. is encumbrances or purchase orders. And yeah. then it's one million two hundred and ninety two thousand three hundred and forty nine dollars in warrant articles. And the prior year warrant articles. Highlighted prior items year. go in where? They are included in the five hundred and forty-six thousand five hundred and three dollars. Okay. We have a first. We have a second. I'm just trying to figure. Any out. further discussion? All those in favor? Unanimous. Thank you very much. You're welcome.